are you? What's going on? Hee hee. Listen, what y'all been on, man? What y'all been on? I was out of town um, in this past week, so you know, for my day ones out there, yeah, I'm still, I'm still, like, I'm still ticking. You know, we're we're still in this thing. <laughs> if you know, you know. But anyway, um, so I had to go out today real quick to get my hair washed and um you know get my brows cleaned up a little bit so look looking looking cleaner than I did when I first get up in the morning I also don't look as exhausted as I thought I would look so that's good I um I didn't really sleep much and I had an early morning so this would have been one of the mornings I would have slept to like 8 or 9 a.m. but I couldn't cuz I had to get up so that I can adult this morning right <laughs> but anyway um so of course it's not any releases that are uh notable i'll call it notable uh today so but we did have some stuff drop during the week though so um I definitely, 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 definitely want to check these out. The Sabrina 2s. One thing that I can say about Nike, um, at least recently, they've been doing a fantastic job with the marketing that we know them to have typically. Um, whether it be for the introduction of Caitlin Clark, whether it be for the reactionary um, introduction of Asia Wilson's shoe. Uh, which is a different conversation for itself, but it's still a solid execution um, Their investment again back into the W which they've had ads for that and I'm most impressed recently with The ads they have been dropping for the rollout of Sabrina Onescu's Sabrina 2 Okay, I will say I have to be completely honest fair and all of the things right the Sabrina one, I wasn't a big fan of, um, and not necessarily from the standpoint of I thought they were ugly. Uh, I, they're just weren't for me, so to speak. But listen, it's not lost on me though that that shoe was very successful because I saw athletes, both um, men and women, rocking the Sabrina one. So I saw it all through the NBA season. Of course, seeing the women wear it, like I said. Um, so it was definitely a successful, successful first silhouette. This is Sabrina too. The ads sold me, so I definitely want to go and check them out and see them in hand. And um, I just happened to be down the street from a Dick Sporting Goods, so we're just gonna slide on over there, make it easy, make it quick. From my research, that I feel like I did well enough, they should have some pairs there or should at least have it on display for us to see it. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide on over there. So without further ado, see y'all when we get over that way. All right, peace. We park real quick on feet on feet on feet. You know, you know, you know. Pick that up, pick that up. You know, we got the oversized, the oversized joints. Um, Terms of the jean flapping over. I will say this. I definitely, if I did not live in the Midwest, this would probably be my most worn shoe. So, Romero 5, designed by Japan. Those of you who have seen probably a couple of the more recent vlogs, you know, this is one of my recent pickups. It's one of the pickups that I really, really wanted. And, um, yeah, man, I would wear the mess out of it. I've already worn this shoe six times. Worn it six times, so. I'm definitely, um, I'm gonna get as many wears out of it as I can. It's, a, it's a, obviously, it's a clean summer pair. And because of the choice in colorway, it's a functional colorway, you know. I can wear multiple types of colors with it. Um, I'm not tied down to like one color. Like for instance, with the racer blue, for instance, that I don't know if they dropped already or about to drop, but clearly I won't be able to wear that with everything. So, but anyway, let me get into this store and check out these Sabrinas. Your girl ain't got no man. 
So they all sold out, but they do have some Sky Gear here. So got some Cardoso jersey t-shirts. Marbury, I need you to hit some shots. Marina, I need you to hit some shots. Got some youth sizes here too. So if you want like a darker tone blue, you got that. Of course, they got the uh, Player Society um, drops over here. I think I mentioned this to you guys before. Thank you. Um, that Player Society actually just started getting Chicago style stuff and Dick's Sporting Goods. So, got the Cardoso. Let's see if they got a. They got anything else, Barry? Just Cardoso. Okay. Cool, cool. So, they obviously have sold out of like the hoodies and stuff like that. So, as you can see, got some tees here. I didn't see anything else. Um, and the Sabrinas aren't here. I actually came here for the Sabrina twos, but. They don't have them in stock here, so. And we're back. So, not a successful visit. Um, apparently, they got them physically in another location that is in a different area, which I'm not going to that area. There's other stores that are around here, so it's funny how got a hard, I have a more difficult time finding this shoe than shoes that are actually you know, hyped across the genders. Huh. I just thought I was just gonna dip in this thing and, and get on out. But, you know, I'll, um, I do believe they are at a nearby Foot Locker. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to stop in there as well. Um, and then, um, but for now, I do need to make one other stop before we go there. Uh, actually, a couple other ones. But anyway, I'll see y'all wherever I land next. All right, peace. All right, I forgot to mention, so I am so over this um, Google Pixel 7 Pro that I have. I've had it for a year too long. That's just how over it I am, but um, I made it a habit of not like getting a new phone all the time every year, cycle, cycle, cycle. I just wanted to try something new. I am a Samsung Galaxy S series girly, okay? So I'm going back to that. I have a, um, a S24 Ultra coming through being shipped so I have to now um, grab an otter box for it though so I want to have that that's actually what I'm on the way to going to one of my favorite stores that I hope never closes but you know how retail is going to Best Buy okay gonna grab me hopefully they have the um, the line of otter box that I typically carry um, but yeah I definitely I just want to make sure that I have that once my because my phone should be delivered on Monday I would like Monday or Tuesday it should arrive so um but yeah I don't I don't touch a phone until it has a case on it I'm 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 of that ilk okay all right so we about to uh, as you can tell I'm driving while filming which means that obviously traffic is allowing me to do that right now so I'm gonna just see y'all when I get into the store and hopefully we'll have some success in the cell phone area all right I'm in what looks like the outer box section. So let's just see if they got my phone. Of course they got iPhone. We we'll never have a problem finding some whack iPhone cases. Let's see, 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 more iPhone. Oop, that ain't even outer box. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What we got? All right, so they got the S23 cases, but I need 24. This is actually the one I have right now on this phone I'm getting rid of. Let's see, it's another section here. Um, more iPhone. More iPhone, 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 iPhone. Some boo. I'm actually looking for symmetry. That's actually the line of this I'm looking for, so. But even outside of that line, it's all iPhone. I think I'm probably just gonna ask for some help at this point because I don't appreciate <laughs> the lack of uh, things outside of iPhone. This is crazy. Look, this is literally this whole little batch is iPhone right here. That's crazy. All right, let me ask somebody for some help. Wow, all I had to do was bend the curb one quick time. They got Samsung through this whole little batch right here. Hopefully, it's a couple rows of them. 
I'm looking for the one for Ultra. 24 Ultra. They got a commuter here, but it's blue. I would rather have clear or black for the Ultra. They do have some Symmetry series here. So these are right next to each other. This one is a little glittery. So we're gonna refrain from getting that one. And they got a clear one. This is the one that uh, we're gonna leave with. All right, let's do it. And yes, they do cost money, but they are worth it. Trust me. I'm an otter for life, baby. Otter for life, if you know, you know. And real quick, I'm over here in the gaming section. I just wanna real quick just talk about how small these sections are now. It's insane. It is insane. And you don't really have any physical copies of a lot of things anymore. Like this is like a really sad day for not only 90s kids, but just gamers in general. Like knowing that our options are becoming slim pickings in terms of being able to come into a store and, um, and grab stuff physically. You can see pretty much Xbox is kind of along the same lines here. You can see Nintendo is suffering as well. It's just sad times right now. It really is. Um, and there is nothing in here that I would want to grab. But also, too, I do have a coupon for um, $10 at GameStop. So anything I buy, I'm going there. You feel me? <laughs> now I see where I had messed up. Because uh, yesterday, I should have checked this this morning. I checked yesterday and I just assumed I was gonna be straight, but yeah, it does not have the store that I went to <laughs> on here as available. <laughs> so, but, but if you notice, the nearest next store that has it only has one left. So you gotta, you gotta believe that I saw the store I went to today on here yesterday. They probably just only had like one left. <laughs> so. <laughs> If it's any consolation, I swear, I'm better than this, I think, I hope, I feel, <laughs> okay, I just want y'all to see. So yeah, the nearest one only got one left, and these are not as near as, as, as you can see, this one's, it's near, but here's the deal, this neighborhood, uh-uh, we ain't going over there, it's gonna take forever to get to that 2.27 miles, and this one right here, definitely not going in that direction, alright, anyway. I'm a, um I'm gonna look up another store that's near. All right, I'm on Foot Locker. Sizes are left. That would be my size. And the nearest store is talking about pick up and five to six business days. So what does that mean? That mean they ain't got them in there. <laughs> they ain't got them in there. Um. Yeah, all of these. Look at this. I thought I was gonna be able to just come in. Put my hand on them. So this is gonna be one of them, if we copping, we copping online type joints, right? Cause again, we going, we not going to no store that's talking about one left, I ain't got time for that. And this probably not even my size anyway. But um, wow. All right, well, to be continued, we moving on to the next thing. All right, we on the road again, and I must confess, <clears throat> about to go and um give me some more do right donuts okay <laughs> it's nothing to confess but you know all this ripping and running i'm getting hungry man get this i'm still so i'm salty that i didn't peep the fact that this shoe was moving units like this in physical stores and there are physical stores I would have had to order from in order to even pick them up out of a physical store. Like, what in, what in the world? Okay. Now, for those of you who may have bought the Sabrina one, maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, Q, this was the same experience with a Sabrina one. I wouldn't know. I was not a Sabrina one fan. I wouldn't, I wouldn't looking out like that. You feel me? So... And we dealing, we dealing with Sabrina too, the one I want to see. So, you know, don't be, don't be coming with that old news. <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> I'm just sorry. But yeah, I'm about to go get my donuts and then we'll reconvene because I do have some shoes I need to get rid of anyway. So before I order my Sabrinas, I need to be um, listing some shoes, okay? So that's that's what I need to be focused on. 
Um, I'm gonna pull a few out when we get home. So I'll see y'all in a bit. I show ain't got no bins, but I will whip the hell out of a Chevy S10. Money came by you swag that there was filled within, but best believe. Right, we back at the house. Gotta take our shoes off before we step up in here. Before we step up in here. Oh, and if you're curious about what else is at the door, literally just all gym shoes. When I tell people that, I don't think they really, really believe me. You got two pairs of Metcons. <laughs> and the alpha bounce <laughs> literally stays at my thing at my door i have a brand new pair of medcons that i have not broke out yet but um yeah i haven't broke them out yet i am waiting for whatever reason i just don't feel just don't feel like i'm in the mood to break them out just yet you know you know um yeah so as far as my donuts, man. Listen here. A couple of these you all familiar with from the last stop. These four right here, y'all saw before. Buttermilk, old fashioned, Boston cream, cheese, Danish, raspberry bullseye. This one right here is uh, coconut cream. This is actually, I am not a coconut fan, but it actually tastes like really good um from do right and this is just a cinnamon crunch this is basically what uh if y'all remember that strawberry topping one i had this was the base of that one and it just had the strawberry topping inside of it but it was basically this donut so okay we got our situation lituation put that right back there close that on back up get into some shoes Right, we in the sneaker room, and uh, yeah, I definitely still had these outside the box on the floor. And again, I was out of town, so um, a lot of things ain't get put back up or even situated. For instance, the few pairs that I showed you all I'm getting rid of, I haven't even listed them yet. So yes, they're still sitting here. Um, but while we talk through that, um, I actually... I got a couple pairs I think I'm probably gonna get rid of. Um, this is, yep, this is precisely one of the other pairs I'm getting rid of. So this is one of my um, my special field, whoops. This is a special field Air Force One. Um, kinda see the colorway on the box, but yeah. This right here, honestly, I can get rid of it. It's still a dope shoe, but the thing is, um, probably haven't worn it since the year that I bought them, which I don't even remember the year I bought them. Might have been like 2017, 2018 or something like that. Um, so yeah, I don't need them. I do have another pair that's black with the gum bottom. So that one I probably keep. The gum bottom is not as potent as this. Like this is the whole midsole is gum bottom with this with the black one it's just a trim of gum bottom that we used to see in on a shoe kind of like just the bottom trim portion so yeah getting rid of those it is a size eight so anybody interested let me know um i have a pair of air maxes as well that i want to get rid of i think it's is it this one uh i think it i think it is this one These are a, if we can get it to focus, the Air Max 98, um, Armory Blue, University Red. Let's see if this is the right one. <laughs> yes, this is the precisely the one. I forget what they even called these when they dropped, um, but I thought they were so fire. This is one of my few denim, <laughs> my few denim um, sneakers that I have in my collection. And um, yeah, I have not worn these since SneakerCon DC, which was, I wanna say like 2019. So yeah, what we doing with them? We're not doing nothing. So this is one of my other get rid of pairs, okay? And so far, 
those are the other two that I've come to conclusion with. Um, again, outside of these three. So we're looking at five pairs we're about to knock out. So I'm excited about that, making room for new. Going back to the conversation about taking your shoes off at the, uh, at the door before you walk into a person's house. So I saw, a, um, I think it was a Threads post, um, an X post, one of them. And um, so I saw the post. It was basically about, um, actually I screenshotted it. Why am I, why am I, why am I putting myself through this? It's a Wall Street Journal article. Um, looks like it's from 2022 and the headline is, here's why I'll be keeping my shoes on in your shoeless house. And then it's a sub um, title question. Why are you assuming that guests' shoes are dirtier than your floors? Okay. Now, as I scroll down to the comments, um, there were people that were were in agreement, like, you know, hey, when I come to your house, I don't want to, um, I don't want to have my my bare feet or my socks on your floor, or somebody whose house it is might say, I don't want to see your barefoot or your socks. So, yeah, um, I'm of the, the comment section that believes that, hey, if you and me, we're coming back to my place from lunch, brunch, whatever, and we come through my door, you're going to see me take my shoes off, okay? So that should be a natural reaction of you is to follow suit. You should know that it's a shoeless house and I shouldn't have to say, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, take your shoes off. You see me taking my shoes off and you see shoes at my door. So that's the indicator that this is a shoeless house. And um, if you got a problem with that, which I have very few, uh, in fact, I've never heard anybody like decline um, to taking shoes off at somebody's house. I've never heard anybody ever say anything. Maybe they might be thinking about it, but say anything um, never happens. I've never experienced that ever. Um, a person would much rather, okay, let me stop generalizing. I would much rather not have a guest than to go back and forth with you about taking your shoes off. <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> like my peace of mind, my place, my house is my peace. Take your shoes off. <laughs> so y'all let me know because I thought that was um that qualifies for for um a dumb social media post that 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 qualifies because it was really people in there in agreement. Like, hey, a person shouldn't have to take their shoes off in your house. They're your guests. They should be comfortable. Well these same floors you're worried about being dirty are going to be more dirty because you're dirty okay you're dirty your outside shoes are walking along my floors okay it's my choice my floor is my chores <laughs> my floor is my choice <laughs> I had a great time in texas um little buddy turned seven so you know it was it was over the top it was over the top um and I, if i don't show you clips if i didn't show you clips in the beginning of this video here's a little picture or description of or a little taste of what i posted in my stories the day of that birthday party look look at the privilege look at a seven-year-old with a whole game truck in his whole in his neighborhood look at this look at this and if you thought that was something he got a whole food truck at his house in his neighborhood i mean i mean look at it game truck food truck and if you thought that was something in his backyard a whole water slide with the little inflatables and things in the bounce house in the bounce house man look at that i say look at that because yeah and i did get him a um new pair of shoes outside of the kobe's that y'all saw y'all saw me buy him the fitness beach kobe's and um I was I bought him ahead of time. It was like a month ahead of time, uh, thinking I was gonna be able to surprise him. 
but lo and behold, I was surprised to find out that he watches the channel. So he saw the Kobe's and you know, the surprise did not happen. So I sent them to him. So I had to go ahead and uh, have a redo. <laughs> and I grabbed him the, uh, the, the bread for it. Birthday boy with the fresh kicks. Hey. Need a little ash, you don't worry about that. And that's Black Boy Joy, you don't worry about that. Hello. Say it's my birthday. It's my birthday. How old are you today? Seven. What you getting into? What's a, what's your birthday party about? Gaming. Gaming and swimming. Hey, say game on. Game on. Look at the camera without digging in your eyes. Game on. Game on. That's right. So, um, and I did not show him on this channel. I think I vlogged the day I bought him. I believe I vlogged the day I bought him or even if I didn't, whatever the case, I didn't show them on here because you know, I know somebody be, somebody be peeking. So anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I had a great time. I'm back, um, glad to be back as well, but it was, it was definitely cool to be with family. Yeah, man, we did not successfully touch a Sabrina too. And that means we just gonna have to possibly order them online get them delivered and give our thoughts then um i do absolutely love the colorway i will say that uh part of me want to wait wants to wait to see if there's going to be another colorway that i would like better um but i just really wanted to see that particular colorway in hand that's the rollout shoe that's the one that all of the commercials have been showing um and again nike nailed it nailed it so um but anyway look forward to uh july definitely should have some early some early reviews for july um i'm not really sure what i want to pick up just yet for july so hopefully we do good and if there's nothing that's new maybe we'll just do some reach back pairs I, I got plenty of shoes that i need to reach back on but i think most importantly I need to um, make sure that I clear these out, list them. Oh, ignore those two that's on the right. Those, those stay, those stay. But the, um, those two right here, and then the three in the back right there. But yeah, I get rid of shoes often, which is why uh, my collection doesn't look like I'm hoarding sneakers because I actually don't keep every single thing over all of the years so um i don't intend for that to change but i've lucked up and got more space in this particular place i'm in but i don't even know how long that's gonna last you know as as rents starts to go up and as i continue to move space might get smaller space might get smaller and i might need to do what i gotta do so but anyway, look out for um, some vids for early July um, reviews. Let's stand by on what we picking up for July. Again, not really sure about that. And I'm about to go ahead and get into my do right donuts, watch some W, work out. Um, I need to catch up on the shy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a, it's a whole weekend of affair, right? But yeah. I'm gonna get on and get up out of here. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know uh, what y'all think about what y'all saw as it relates to the Sabrina 2. If you're not interested, don't worry about it. But for those that are, um, let me know what you're thinking about for July in terms of your pickups. Are you gonna sit July out? I don't blame you, it's summertime. You might be trying to spend your money on experiences. But either way, I'm gonna see y'all next time. All right, peace. <laughs>